Let's take a turn tonight to Woodlawn, where asylum seekers are spending their first night sleeping inside a shuttered elementary school. It's only supposed to be temporary housing, but tonight some neighbors are frustrated. They complain the city is using resources that would be better used in their community. NBC5's Lexi Souter has the story. Four buses with a total of 100 migrants pulled into the former Wadsworth school, now equipped to be a shelter. I don't like it. I am upset. I would not sleep well tonight. Many Woodlawn residents like Shakita Anderson aren't happy to see the city's plan come to fruition. The city faced strong opposition from neighbors and held several community meetings, but still moved forward with moving migrants in. Y'all had no funds to open up this building for mental health, but y'all got funding to, uh, to bring this the fourth bus load uh, immigrants over here. Andre Smith, who is running to represent the 20th Ward, where the school turned shelter sits, joined a neighbor to block one of the buses from entering the parking lot. We refused to move. We were told that we were going to be arrested and go to jail. And I told them, do what they have to do. They did not get arrested or taken to jail, but more Chicago police officers arrived to protect the property as the buses continued to drop men and women off through the afternoon. They're hiding everything from the community. Neighbor Louis Cardonia says his frustration is not with the migrants, but the lack of transparency from leadership and a lack of resources he says his community already faces. You know, you got a lot of young kids out here getting killed, all this gun violence which could have been used for a community center or something. Help here first, and then help or whoever you got to help out. But start here first. The city plans to house up to 250 migrants in this space, adding that it will likely be a shelter for the next two years. Reporting in Woodlawn, Lexi Suter, NBC5 News.